NCW Life Channel Sports is proud to bring you the following presentation. 14 for good. Big, big bucket for Eastmont. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Abby's Pizza, Biosports Physical Therapy, Clean Connection, Coldwell Banker Cascade, Confluence Health, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Kennedy Real Estate Group, Les Schwab, Sangster Motors, Save Mart, Together For You, and TC Slingers. Now let's go to the gym for live coverage of high school sports on your local TV station, the NCW Life Channel. Sean Garth with the drive and the shot. Nice and the shot to the basket. Good evening, basketball fans, and welcome to Wenatchee High School. Along with Grant Olson, I'm Eric Granstrom on the NCW Life Channel. So get ready to bring you high school girls basketball between the Wenatchee Panthers and the West Valley Rams. West Valley right now in the middle of the pack at 3-3 three and three coming in tonight. Wenatchee, bottom of the stack. They don't have a win this season. But what do you look for here tonight for the Panthers? Well, one positive that I've noticed over the last two or three games, they're scoring more points, and that is a definite positive for this Wenatchee team, where they're only always scoring in the teens and maybe maybe 20 points. Now they're into the mid 30s and almost 40. So that's a plus for them. And they're catching a West Valley team that's lost two in a row now. So this might be just the right time for the Wenatchee girls tonight. Yeah, a win would be so huge. Oh, but as we'll talk to Emma Dormeyer coming up on the pregame show, it's little, little victories, not the scoreboard. And remember our first game here, we talked about that's what she has to focus on, the little victories. And I'm sure she does it in practice, little victories, and she'll find some here tonight, I'm sure, as well. Yeah, and one of those things is you can never make the shot you don't take, right? I mean, right. so execute your offense and get the shot away. And you know, with this young team, what do you got to lose? Throw up the shot, maybe get the rebound, and throw up another one. Just, you know, anything's possible for this team. Meanwhile, we we saw West Valley a week ago against Eastmont. West Valley still has those three players out that are pretty key figures for tonight. One of them a starter that scored seven points the last time they played Wenatchee. She's not playing tonight. We saw this depleted team last week. Eastmont knocked them off. They've lost two in a row. This is prime for Wenatchee to have a really good showing tonight. It's the Panthers and the Rams coming up. The band is here. We've got the atmosphere. We've got you too with Big Nine Basketball tonight on the NCW Life Channel. Back with a coach right after this. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Thanks to Les Schwab tires, I'm a confident backseat driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab tires. Show continues here on the NCW Life Channel as we get ready for the Panthers and the Rams and Emma Dormeyer joining us now. Well, Emma, I know you don't, you can't measure this season in wins because you don't have any. How are you measuring this season as far as coaching? Yeah, with small improvements. So right now we're really looking at improvement in turning the ball over and our ball handling and trying to score more. We're not a natural scoring team and so trying to figure out ways that we can set them up for success and actually score the basketball. So we're looking for small wins and execution and in less turnovers right now. Well, the first six games of the season, you're averaging 18 points. The last eight games, you guys are up to 30 points. So there's improvement there. Yes, lots of improvement. We have girls in the post that are looking to score and we're looking to get the ball inside more. And we're just, we're working a lot on our confidence right now too and the mental side of our game. And um, that's shown improvement on the court as well. Well, meanwhile, you got a team coming in that's lost a couple in a row and they're missing some key players. I don't know if that factors into your coaching at all tonight, but who knows? I mean, you go out there and play the game, right? Yeah, I mean, every single game regardless, we... 
encourage them to go out there and just give it their best, right? To have some pride and when they come back into the locker room afterwards, feel good about the game that they played and whatever the outcome may be, we can feel good about that. So that's what I'm encouraging them to do tonight. Well, and we were just talking uh, moments ago before you joined us that you never make the shot you never take, right? It's very true. <laughs> you got to shoot, score. <laughs> well, best of luck tonight. Keep everybody healthy. Thank you very much. All right, Emma Dormeyer joining us here on the pregame show. We'll come back with the TC Slingers starting lineups coming up next on the NCW Life Channel. We were in Roseburg in the early 80s. Our oldest son, Dan, was a defensive back, a starter on that team. They set, in fact, became Oregon State champions, setting the first undefeated 14-0 season in Oregon's history. And a lot of people were losing jobs. Friends had left the community. It was a hard time. That football team and companies like Abby's kept that place alive and the community spirit alive. That's legendary. Welcome back here on the pregame show on the NCW Live Channel. I'm with Grant Olson. I'm Eric Grandstrom here on the uh, broadcast tonight. So, Grant, you're asking about that player to be named later? Yes. Piper Tweedy off the JV squad. Gotcha. West Valley. Gotcha. Speaking of which, let's take a look at our starting lineups. It's brought to you tonight by TT TC Slingers. Let TC Slingers save you time, money, and labor with their conveyor application. Call for your free estimate today at 509-885-2269. TC Slingers that would answer your landscape placement company. Starters for the West Valley Rams is announced by their head coach, Jeff Weeks. He's assisted by Chris Weeks, Carly Davis, and Monaco De Leon. The starters include a 5'6 junior guard, Lakin Hill. Avery Freeze, a 5'6 senior guard. Juliana Bell, who went off against uh, Eastmont last week, a 5'9 junior guard. Paige Bremerman, a 5'7 senior guard. And Lauren Hatfield, a 6'0 sophomore post. The non-starters include Maisie Morford, Cadence Thompson, Malia McMurray, and as we just mentioned, uh, somebody off the JV squad, Piper Tweedy, who will wear number 30. And uh, that's a pretty cool name. I like that. Very if, cool name. I wonder if she, if she sings. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, for the Wenatchee Panthers, as announced by their head coach, Emma Dormeyer, she's assisted by Kara Rockstrad and Maria Bowen Picard, Danica Cordona, a 5'6 freshman guard. Gabby Volan is a 5'6 junior guard. Vanessa Hansen, a six foot sophomore post. Carson Garcia Miller, a 5'7 uh, freshman guard. And Marin Stuber, a 5'9 sophomore post. Here we go with the band and our national anthem here tonight. There you go, the Golden Apple. Well, not the whole marching band, but the uh, pep band here tonight. And granted, senior night for the band members. They'll have a little recognition oh, ceremony cool. coming up between they're the, best. They're the, best. the two games here on the NCW Live Channel. Thanks for joining us as we get ready for Big Nine basketball tonight. Lakin Hill, Avery Freeze, Juliana Bell, Paige Bremerman, and Lauren Hatfield for West Valley. Danica Cordona, Gabby Bolin, Vanessa Hansen. Carson Garcia Miller and Marin Stuber, the lineups here tonight. And our 
Lineups are brought to you by TC Slingers. Let TC Slingers save you time, money, and labor with their conveyor application. Call 509-885-2269 for more information. Looks like uh, we might, might have, have a change, change in a starter here. In the Eric. lineup here for the Wenatchee Panthers, Vanessa Hansen might not be in the starting lineup now. She was listed originally. So you have to help me with the eyeballs here, Grant, to see who we have out there. 21 is Carson. Okay. So it looks like we have Riley Jones, 12, Eric. Okay, there we go. So Riley Jones is in there as a last-minute starter. And I'm not sure if Vanessa has been batting. I asked uh, Coach uh, Dormeyer, you know, if you if everybody's healthy. She said she had one player who's been kind of battling through a little bit of a knee. And that might have been Hanson, so maybe something tweaked during the pregame. But the Wenatchee Panthers get the opening tip and nearly turn the ball over as they start to work their offense. Down to a right as we look at it here underway. Wenatchee High School and a pass a little bit too tall, and it will head out of bounds. And, and that's it, something, too, they need to try to do, try to minimize the number of turnovers. And it's so hard to do with a young team at the moment. Three freshmen on the court for Wenatchee right now. West Valley runs their offense, like to do this weave out top as we saw last week. And here's a shot from outside off the back of the window, no good. It was from outside by Juliana Bell. Rebound picked up by Wadachi as Volan will bring it up and we're gonna get a double dribble called against Gabby. And so another turnover for Wadachi. That's something, Grant, too, that, that Wadachi this season has battled having more turnovers than they do points. Absolutely. And that's just what you, I mean, just kills you. Lake and Hill runs the offense here for the West Valley Rams in the black uniforms, a little dash of pink in it. And I'm sure that's a nod to uh, cancer awareness. Shot missed, in close, rebound picked up by Wadanchi. Volan again, lob pass underneath, and down low on the block, the ball stripped away, goes out of bounds off of the Rams, so it'll be out to the Panthers. Good job of an entry pass there, down to, was that Stuber they got it to right, down low? it is. Okay. And one thing we noticed last week watching West Valley, Lakin Hill is a player that Wenatchee really has to pay attention yeah, absolutely. to. Absolutely. She's a ball handler, that's for sure. Long pass in on the inbounds play. Now they go back down low again to Stuber. Wrap around pass to the corner for a three-pointer. It's a launch, but no good. And the rebound picked up after Garcia Miller missed it by the Rams. Down low in the post. And they're not shy about shooting from outside no, either. In fact, Lakin Hill looked at the shot, backs it away. It's like a man defense here for Wadachi, and a nice block. The ball comes down on the lane to the waiting hands of Avery Freeze, and then she tried to turn it around and put it back up, and she's foul. And the foul is on Gabby Volan. First foul of the ball game comes against the Panthers. They're going to see a non-shooting foul. So an inbounds play baseline right side here for West Valley. Inbounds pass comes in to uh, the Bell, and boy, she did well against uh, Eastmont here last she did. week. Wrap it around top. Now the drive and the look. Wenatchee cuts off the lane and then blocks the shot away. And it comes up into the hands of Garcia Miller. She'll bring it across the midcourt stripe. Work it right side on the perimeter. Now the defense comes as she gave up her dribble. Needs some help. Lobs it in. Here's Volan on the drive. Her shot on the way. Rims won't fall. Boy, we talked about a grant. You never make the shot you don't take. Exactly and right. And at least they're taking them here. Hill on the drive, backs it out for a three-pointer. It's off the back of the iron. Offensive rebound underneath by Bell. Juliana looking for room. The ball stripped it from her out of bounds. It'll go out to West Valley. Substitution for Wenatchee. Stegman comes in for the Panthers. Zaley Stegman. There's another youngster, a sophomore. Meanwhile, inbounds pass comes in to Hill. She'll launch the three. Rims won't fall. Rebound picked up by Wadanchi, but then stripped away. It's loose on the floor, so we won't give a turnover there yet. And it is Wadanchi <coughs> basketball. So they got it back. So we'll just give them that. <laughs> <laughs> Ball stripped away here from Cordona, and back the other way comes West Valley. But nice job getting back on defense by Riley Jones. You know what? She was a late substitution in the starting lineup, Eric. She's got a couple of rebounds. She's had a block in this game. Nice hustle right there. So a good insertion late for uh, Coach Dormeyer. They are going to call a foul on her, however, on uh, the strip attempt. So that second foul against Wenatchee will put Juliana Bell to the free throw line for two shots. 5'9 juniors, first one on the way, and that's our first point of the ball game at 531. Still pretty good hustle play. Oh, by absolutely. Jones, foul or not. Absolutely. Never give up. Nope. 
Second free throw is no good, and position, good positioning for the rebound by Stuber. Outlet pass, now they quickly work it up the court. Cross-court pass is knocked out of bounds by West Valley. Good idea there, just a little bit too late. Trailing the play for the Rams, I think Bremer got a ham on, hand on it and knocked it out of bounds. Inbound pass will come in from Garcia Miller on the baseline. And she had a wide open Stuber, didn't find her. Now they'll go outside, then down low to Stuber. Oh, oh my, pass ooh. across, stolen away. Just one too many passes oh, that time. Oh, she had a wide open shot if she took it. Now a pass inside to Hill. He'll have the ball stripped from her. They'll feed it back out top for a long three. It's no good. Rebound tapped around and then picked up underneath by Stedman. Stegman is reached and fouled. Had three bodies draped all over her. Official can take his pick on whom he wants to call the foul on. He will call it on Avery Freeze. That's her first first team foul. Substitution here for Wenatchee. Here comes Vanessa Hansen. Goes to show you Zaley Stegman, five feet five, position under that yeah. basket and got yes. the rebound. Yeah, yeah. That's it's all about positioning. That's a, a good lesson to learn for any of the youngsters Ooh. watching. Oops, almost a travel there by Stegman. She'll get some help from Jones. And pressure at half court, and we saw that last week on a Friday night by West Valley as they like to press at that half court. But uh, a foul going to be called on the Rams, and two in a row here on freeze. I'm surprised they aren't full court pressuring because yeah. most teams have been doing that to Wenatchee, but they only have seven players. Right. So you've got to keep right. some of these players fresh, and that yeah. might be why they're just half court pressing. Well, they tonight. brought Tweedy up from the uh, JV, so they got eight right. here tonight. <laughs> But still not the numbers you want. No. Lob pass inside is stripped away and stolen by West Valley. Another turnover for Wenatchee. So the Panthers pointless here almost halfway through the first quarter. And I've got them for six turnovers already in the early going here. Hill with it on the perimeter left side. Works off a pick. Goes around the zone defense. Looks like Wenatchee's on a matchup zone now. Now a long three-point launch off the iron. No good. Uh, taken outside by Bell. Offensive rebound, however. And a pass inside, back to Bell, closer in, she makes the shot. Offensive rebound, convert that into two points, exactly what you want to do. Three nothing, West Valley on top. Here comes that press you were talking about, yep. Grant. So after a made field goal, then they go to the press. That was, that was probably the plan, Eric, yep, I'm absolutely. guessing. Absolutely, this ball goes out of bounds on a throw that was too high for Hanson. Turnover by Wenatchee. Four minutes left here in this first quarter. Wenatchee still looking for their first point lob pass in. They got it in, but a good job of defense by Wenatchee. Cordona knocked the ball out of bounds. And I think it was Jones that was also was. denying inside there. So 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Inbounds to Hill. She shoot the quick three. Good. Lakin Hill for three. Ooh. She's a solid player. And now after a made field goal again, here they come on the full court press. Inbounds pass comes in to Stegman. Stegman got it across midcourt, and the pass is knocked out of bounds. The one by thing when Atchie has to do, Eric, is be patient. Just don't blindly toss it down court. You've got to be patient against the press. you got 10 seconds. Don't panic. Yes, and, and pass more than dribble. Yeah, absolutely. As we talked about that from uh, yes. Eastmont last week. Another turnover by Wenatchee as they tried to get it down low to Hanson. She can't handle it, fumbles it out of bounds, and a turnover goes to the Rams. Hill brings it across the midcourt strike, comes left with it to Bell. Down to Hill, another three, air ball. And un underneath, good positioning by Jones. Riley's had some good minutes here. She for has. Blanche. She's played well. Bringing it up across the midcourt strike is Garcia Miller. She'll work it down low, wide open, shot oh, taken no. and missed, but an offensive rebound. No, we're going to get a foul on the rebound against Wadanchi. Oh, my. Great opportunity Vanessa there. Vanessa Hansen right there on the doorstep. Foul is on Cordona. That's her first third team foul. I think she was so open, she was a little surprised, so a little, put oh, she, a little too much on She that. could have taken one step and Absolutely. had basically a lay in there. So 6 nothing. West Valley on the top. 3.05 to go here in this First quarter of play. They'll work it on the right side of Bell. Works off a pick there. Backs it away. Lob pass. They try to go back door. Good job of swatting at it by Hanson. Bell gets it back. Drives down. And Ooh. a whack coming 
underneath by Riley Jones. But you know what? Don't give him a free shot. No, and I think she got a lot of ball there. She a lot more did. than it looked like. Foul. Oh, they're going to call Hanson for the foul. I don't know. If I thought that was on Jones because she's the one that did the swipe yeah, unless it sure was a did. foul on the body there. Interesting. Well, that'll save Jones getting her second and give Hanson her first. Meanwhile, substitution for Wadanchi is Gabby Bolin will come back in. And she'll replace Carson Garcia Miller. And did we get one free throw? We did, and she missed it. Right. So one more to come here for Bell. And that's good. So she's two for four from the line. She's got four of the seven points for West Valley. Inbounds pass comes in in the backcourt to Stegman. She'll throw it up the near sideline, give it up to Jones. Then they go, a little nice pass job. pass to Volan, down low, turn around, feed it outside. Jones for a long two, no good. But that was a great it was way really of nice. the press and a great way to yes. get into your offensive set. Good ball movement. And as coaches like to say, that was a good look. Shot by Bell is missed, a hustle play on the ground, and now we're going to get a timeout taken. Uh -huh. And a good heads-up call there by Emma Dormeyer. And it'll be Wenatchee Ball after this short timeout. Our broadcast tonight is brought to you in part by Abby's Pizza. For more than 50 years, Abby says proudly served the Northwest with toppings to the edge, 100% real cheese, and freshly rolled dough. Make it an Abby's Pizza night tonight. Also by Bio Sports Physical Therapy, Aqua Therapy, Sports Biomechanics, Orthopedic Physical Therapy, Orthotics. All you need to keep moving. Find them online at biosports.net. Open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Well, you know what, Eric? I like what Wenatchee's doing so far in this first quarter. They're keeping West Valley in striking distance, and that's what they need to do. And they're playing solid offensively. Yeah. They've had a couple of good possessions where they had a nice offensive set. They moved the ball a little bit. So confidence, that's all they need, this young team. Well, that's what Coach Stormeyer talked to me about in the pregame show is, you know, I want us to execute. I, we need to execute our offense. They've done that. They just haven't got the benefit of a bucket to Absolutely. fall through yet. So they break the press, but a lob pass across by Volan stolen away as she threw to a bunch of black jerseys. So West Valley in transition now. And picking it away, Volan. She forced the turnover, got the steal. She's going to go coast to coast, lay it up, and it rims out. No good. Rebound underneath is picked up by Hatfield, who's back in there for West Valley. He'll call oh, ahead. Open. Layup, no good. Rebound, Jones skying in How there. About that? And now they're going to say a hell ball. Oh, my. I thought that was a foul reaching around. Possession arrow for the Panthers. Or no, they're going to say West Valley ball on the possession. Well, the, the arrow is pointing West Valley's way. Hmm. Okay, now we okay. finally get it All figured right. out. Brimmerman will bring it inbound, so that'll work as a turnover basically for Wenatchee. So I've got him for 10 now. Three-point launch from outside is no good. Here's Hill again for three, and good. Nobody in her face. Had a week to think about it. She's going to drop those every oh, time. Oh, absolutely. Volan near sideline. Now they go back between. Nice job finding the open body. Ball stripped from her, but now she has a dribble alive. She'll shoot it from there. And oh, oh, man. Tough luck. Rims out, no good. Rebound, West Valley. Hill, up the floor she goes. Kicks it outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's a three for Bell. It's off the mark. And that will go out of bounds unless somebody saves it. West Valley does, but it will be off of Wenatchee and out of bounds. Oh, my. <laughs> this heads up by Hill once again, the experience yeah. of her. Substitution here as Malia McMurray will come into the ball game for the first time, and she'll replace Paige Bremerman as Coach Weeks trying to do what he can to keep some fresh bodies out there. Inbounds pass comes in. They work it around the horn to Morford, who checked in during that last time out. Lob pass across. Hill for a three-pointer. Good. Woo. Wow. She's heating up. Third three-pointer of the quarter. West Valley out to their largest lead now at 13-0. Minute 21 to go. Ooh, that's dangerous when she dribbles it right into the teeth of that trap at half court. But when Anchi breaks it, lob pass across. Knocked around. Bowling comes up with it. She'll dribble it to the free throw line and then I'd lose the handle. Another turnover for Wenatchee. Back the other way and Bell. Beautiful crossover. Wow. Lay in. Good. That's the drill you do in practice every night. Right every there. night. Yes. That's why you do it in the driveway, kids. And now running right up into the trap again is Stegman. Lost the ball. Now a foul called and it's on the floor before right. the shot. So no points for Hill. The foul is whistled against Stuber. That's her first. That's the 15th foul. Garcia Miller will come back in here for the Panthers and replace 
Zaley Stegman, who I'm sure is going to get a little earful about dribbling into that trap. Right. Inbounds pass for West Valley comes in. They'll find a wide open person on the right side. And she'll shoot it, hits the top of the uh, glass, and then bounces back <laughs> over. A little bit too strong there for McMurray. That's what happens when you're wide open from seven feet. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Morford on the shot there. <laughs> and inbounds pass comes in. Back it goes to Stuber. Stuber brings it near side to Volan. Volan down low and wide open pass. Oh, they had Ball her. picked up by Wenatchee. There we Lane. go. Good. Good job of ball movement by the Panthers as Garcia Miller will get the first bucket for Wenatchee with under 30 to go. They earned that one. They did. So they're off the schnei. Now it's get two in a row or make a stop here. Hill on the drive. Flicks it for a shot by Bell. It's off the mark. Hill offensive rebound in the trees. Brought the ball down. Gives it back up for a two-pointer. Good. Rims and falls for Bell. Bell with eight in the quarter. 17 to two. Now Wenatchee turns the ball over, but the horn will sound before we can get any more of this first quarter. And I think we'll say no on the turnover there, Grant. Just to try to keep it where it is. <laughs> okay. And the score is 17 for West Valley, two for Wenatchee. You're watching Big Nine Basketball on the NCW Life Channel. Back after this 60-second timeout. I'm Brian Thorpe, and I'm proud to say that Global Car Care is growing. We always do the right thing, and because of that, we're busy. And it's time to hire an experienced automotive technician. We spend as much time with our coworkers as we do our own family. I want them to understand they're not a number here. They're a person with a family, and I want them to be part of this family too. Do you want an owner that understands and respects what you do every day? I'm that guy. Our compensation is the best in the area. I want you to have your career with us. You don't have to be a member to enjoy the view and dine-in style at Highlander Bar & Grill, located in East Wenatchee. Highlander Golf Course has added two state-of-the-art full swing simulators. Food and drink service is available from our full service bar and grill, offering breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Indoor and outdoor seating available. Call Shalane, our on-site coordinator, to schedule your special event. Wenatchee well, basketball to start this second quarter. The officials are trying to direct traffic on where they want them to stand here. It is a 17-2 West Valley lead. When Anchi got their first bucket of the ball game just uh, 30 seconds ago. Lob pass inside, wide open shot, too strong off the window, but it offensive a rebound, wraparound pass in the trees, and we got a foul called on West Valley. Good idea, Grant, yeah, to was. get the ball down low. You've got Hanson out there at six foot. She's taller than anybody on the floor. Get her the ball. Well, and it all started the second chance with Marin Stuber's offensive rebound. That was a great rebound by her to get things continued in that set. Paige Bermerman collects the foul. Beautiful give and go inside. Foul going to be whistled here, and that's going to come against Hatfield, I believe. Wenatchee executing the inbounds play perfectly. Ball passed in. The young lady who put the ball in, Volan, came back into the court after she threw the ball in, and then they passed it right back to her, and she collects a foul, and she collects a free throw. Gabby's first point of the night, when Anchi's two came from Garcia Miller right before the end of the first quarter. And how important to make the free throws when you got a chance, when you have a trouble, trouble scoring Absolutely. at all. Second free throw. Beautiful bottom of the net splash by Bolin. Makes it a 17-4 contest. Little steps of, pos of positivity, yes. Grant. Little steps. That's, that's what they need. Hill gave up the dribble out towards midcourt when Anchi's smothering defense came out. Now a lob pass inside. Nearly a travel could have been called. Lob pass across. Here is Morford. She nearly fell down. Wenatchee all over defensively. Knocked the ball away. Pick it up. Bolin had the ball stripped from her. Unfortunately, another turnover for Wenatchee. And then a foul going to be called against the Panthers. Oh, my. Well, you get the turnover. But like you said, slow down a little. Yes, yes. No and need And Bolin as a junior, Eric, on this team, but really a player, the only player with experience. They've got to keep her on this court tonight. Yeah, and that's her second. Definitely so. And she was the key cog in getting that turnover to begin with. Right. On the other end, that's her second steal of the ball game. So here comes Hill to run the offense as she's picked up by Cardona. Morford to Hill. Down in the corner, wide open three. Good. Oh, my. 
That's Bremerman with her first bucket of the ball game. And again, here comes the pressure by West Valley. But when Anchi breaks it easily, you know, just as I say that, stepping in front was Hatfield knocking the ball into the West Valley bench. 6.52 to go here in the half. Along with Grant Olson, Eric Grandstrom with you here on the NCW Life Channel. Inbounds pass came in and stolen away by Hatfield. Another turnover for Wenatchee. I've got him for 13 unofficially here in the ball game. Yep. 20 to 4. West Valley back on offense. Hill, beautiful between the leg dribble. Got stripped. Saves the ball in, but then throws it Ooh, away. Ooh, I thought oh, McMurray touched it. No. I really thought she touched it. I thought that was off of West Valley. <laughs> How about that? All right, so it's out to the Rams, but only 15 on the shot clock. Wenatchee's really ratcheted up their defense. They here. have. Drive by Hill, bounce pass across into the paint, wide open shot, up and good by McMurray. Her first bucket on a beautiful feed by Hill. Wenatchee again up the far sideline, bailed out by a defensive block over there. Boy, bailed out, you got that right, Eric. Running foul. out of room over there. Foul is on Morford, that's her first, and five team fouls now against West Valley. Substitutions for the Panthers, back in is Riley Jones and Zaley Stegman. Both of them provided some valuable moments in that first quarter, especially Jones. So here comes Volan. She's got to watch the carry wow. as she dribbles that basketball. Splits the paint down low. Oh, wide open for the close in shot. Instead, they pass it away. So now, top of the key, three pointer off the back of the iron, no good. Jones, strong rebound for Wadachi. Now out to Volan. Volan drives, shoots, scores. Nice shot. Four points in the quarter for Volans, 22 to six. Again, little positive steps. Double team comes, look out, Hill throws the ball down low. They get a beautiful in close shot and bucket by Bremerman. They just didn't get back on defense. Great trap on that half court trap, but you gotta get back if you're beat. Well, that's exactly, oop, and here's what you don't want is to. It's the worst place to be. Yeah, yeah you don't give up your dribble, and especially in that coffin corner. Nope. In comes Juliana Bell after a respite. And the inbounds pass will come in front of the uh, bench here by Jones. Into Volan. Volan tried a bounce pass. No look down in the corner. And it goes off a thigh out of bounds. It'll be out to the Panthers. Five and a half left in the first half. Inbounds play baseline right side Garcia Miller. Everybody starts to move. And then she just threw the ball right to Bell. Another turnover for Wenatchee. Drive, shot, rims, won't fall, offensive rebound, dribble out, put it over to Bell. She'll shoot it from seven, won't make it. Rebound, volleyball around, and then Volan cut off in the corner, needs help. Feeds back to Jones. Then it will come up to Garcia Miller. Gets it across the midcourt strike, dribbles it down the far side of the court. Looking for help, looking for help. Pan bounce pass through the legs of everybody and right to West Valley. 15 turnovers for the Panthers. Lob pass ahead. Wenatchee not getting back in time, and Jones going to be whistled for the foul as Bell was taking it strong to the rack. Another good hustle by Riley Jones getting back down court, though. Second foul on Jones. She That's leads all seven. players in rebounds tonight. Riley Jones yeah, with I five it. right now. Yeah, and in limited time. Right. That? That's 17 fouls on Wenatchee, so... West Valley is going to be shooting the rest of the quarter on any more fouls. That's the ninth point of the night for Juliana Bell. She's had a nice first half. And she's now three of five from the free throw line. And the second one also good. Inbounds pass to Volan. Volan had the ball stolen away by Bell, but then got it back. So no turnover, just a loose ball there. And a lob pass ahead. Here's a pass across the lane. And... You know, you get down that far, you just, that's fundamentals. You can't pass across the lane like that, no. especially on a bounce pass. But West Valley, thankfully, gives it right back to the Panthers on their fourth turnover. Here's a drive shot off the Ooh. window. Had a good look to it by Garcia Miller. She'll head to the free throw line. Foul against West Valley is on. McMurray, that's her first. Garcia Biller, one of the only well, five freshmen on this roster. She's one of them. Yeah, isn't that something? There's, well, been a, there's been a time I heard tonight where there were three freshmen and two sophomores for Wenatchee. Right. Her first free throw is no good. She's got two points tonight. She scored the first bucket for Wenatchee with 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Panthers trail it by 20. Second free throw, good. And that looked much better than the first. Full show. 
26 to 7. Hill brings it across the big court strike, but that's where that double team came last time. But I think uh, Coach Dormeyer and another turnover. And guess who comes up with it? Jones. Well, I'll tell you, there's our MVP so far. Boy, I think she's played solid. Four one at you. Garcia Miller runs the offense. Here's a three for Bullen. Wow. Gabby with a tray. 26 to 10. You know, I thought about challenging the Wenatchee girls before the game, Grant. I, I was going to, they were out here warming up as we were setting up our gear. As West Valley runs the offense, they go high post. Jones is there, knocks it away, bodies on the floor. Wenatchee comes up with another turnover. Here's a shot. On the oh, way. Stegman. Big bad. <laughs> Big shot. Three. And we're going to get a timeout taken by West Valley. How about that? We'll keep it right here on the timeouts, our seconds of the ball game. But I was going to go out to the ladies and say, okay, for every point you score, I'm going to give $2 for every point you score to the Booster Club. Ah, not a bad idea. I didn't do it because we got busy doing other things and getting the gear set up. But what a challenge that would be. Yeah. Watch them score 60 points <laughs> that night. Our, four, our broadcast brought to you by Clean Connection. Call Clean Connection to keep your carpet, upholstery, and air ducts clean for a healthier environment inside your home. Locally owned, find them at yourcleanconnection.com. Along with Grant Olson, Eric Grant's room, our second of two nights, or three nights in a row here at Wenatchee High School. For you, yeah. Here for wrestling last night. That was fun. Basketball tonight and basketball tomorrow is what answer was a great host, broadcast last night. The rest of it really yeah, was. It was fun to have my dad as part of that. So here comes West Valley after the timeout taken by Coach Weeks. They'll go down in the corner for a three. Rims won't fall. Rebound. It's picked up underneath and a putback on the way is good by McMurray. A couple of buckets for McMurray. She's got four now. Back to a 15 point lead here for the Rams. Jones, oh my. She just doesn't help a player much by. Passing it to him right in that corner. Boy, and now out stepping room. out of bounds is Wenatchee. Another turnover for the Panthers. Just ran out of room, tight roping it along that sideline. Yeah, just get it out to the middle, kids. It's kind of like, you know, I don't know if you played this. You ever play lava when you're a kid? No. That the, the floor in your home was lava, so you had to jump from couch to... Oh, you know, I yeah. think we did. We might have called it something else, <laughs> but I think we did that, yes. And that's that's kind of the, <laughs> one of the, the drills we used to run when I was playing basketball in high school. Foul is going to be whistled here against West Valley, and that's on McMurray. So a lot of fouls here. In fact, that's a 17 foul, so Boy, we'll yes. go to the other end and shoot some free throws. But that's a drill we ran in high school is that the sideline was lava. Don't go anywhere near the sideline if you're at midcourt. Hmm, interesting. Because you're going to get in trouble if you go towards right. the lava. That's awesome. <laughs> Not a bad idea. That just I just remembered that. That just popped into my head. It tells you about my gray matter these days. Gabby Bolin at the free throw line makes the first of two. She's having a pretty good half. <laughs> She's got, uh, let's see, eight points now. Right. We'll get a substitution. They were a little late getting the body off the bench was West Valley. And she makes the free throw, so we will get that substitution. And that will be Morford coming back in for the Rams to replace McMurray. In a 13-point ball game, Grant. That's right. Well, you know, you if you can cut it to 10 by halftime, you got a chance. Trap at half court. Lob pass ahead. And across it goes. Outside the hill. Long three-point launch. It's good. Oh, my. Wow. What's that, Lake her third hill, this half? There's no shot that she doesn't like. <laughs> oh, there isn't. Her fourth three-pointer of the game, and that's all she has. <clears throat> and when Angie quickly throws it away. She has so much confidence, and that's a lot of what these oh, young yeah. players for Wenatchee lack, but there's no lacking it with her. Well, you know, Wenatchee, I will say this, Wenatchee's doing a great job on the passing lanes. Uh, the body's outside, though, for those three-point shots. There's hardly a hand in a face. Kudos to Coach Dormeyer going to this defense. It's changed everything. Lob pass in, stolen away by Volan. Up the near sideline, they'll go again. Drive down and shot off the rim. Won't go. Offensive rebound. We're going to get a hell ball. No. They'll work it outside. When Angie got a fresh shot clock, so here's a there we go. Inside. And Stuber with the bucket, her first of the ball game. Nice pass by Stegman. Boy, they've got the size, Grant. Why not try no to doubt. work it down low? Hill kicks it over for a three-point look by Morford. Instead, they'll pass it inside. Ball fumbled around on the paint, loose. Bodies down. Hell ball called. Possession arrow off to West Valley. 
But hustle, 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 hustle. Got to love to see that as Coach Dormeyer. This half-court trap has really changed everything, Eric. It just changed how they're playing right now. It's uh, kind of confusing West Valley a little bit. Here's what they like, though, the three-point launch. Missed. Long offensive rebound. Put back. No good. Rebound by Stuber. Bodies on the floor. No whistle. So they're going to play on. Volan brings it across and Ooh. traveled with it as she trapped it against her That's leg. That's the call you were talking about, Eric. Yep. She brings it with her right hand. She's obviously a right-handed player. She brings that ball clear over and right. then brings it. And so her palm is under it and then curls it back around when she goes to dribble. Gabby Volan, quit watching the NBA. <laughs> yeah, because they don't call it there. <laughs> no. They don't call it in college ball much anymore no, they either. Don't. Here's Hill, cut off by the double team. Here's an open look, but no good. Offensive putback is no good, and the ball tipped out of bounds. It'll go out to Wenatchee. Well, one thing for sure, those, those shots in close like that within seven, seven feet or so are contested, definitely, right. by Wenatchee. Inbounds pass comes in. Stuber on the far sideline took a dribble. And bringing it back out is Stegman. Around the horn, she'll go to Volan. Volan back to Stegman. Long three-point launch. Oh, it looked good from here. Missed it. Rebound fumbled around. Finally picked up by West Valley. Up the far side goes Morford with it. She'll stop, wait for help, kick it outside for a three. Boy, they're not afraid of shooting the outside ball, are they? Not at all. Shot missed by Hatfield, but an offensive putback of the rebound is good. Bremerman, third offensive uh, rebound this quarter. 33-17 the score. Under a minute to go here in the first half of play. Beautiful job by Stuber. Look at that. Oh, the way he lays oh, it up the basket. Good. Nice ball handling and right to the basket. Marin Stuber with the bucket. 33-19 the score. 25 seconds left in the half. Hill splits the defense, kicks it in the corner. Here's a three-point launch for Bell. It's good. I remember that shot from last week at Eastma. Rainbow. Absolutely. And she did a lot of that in that third quarter. There's a lob pass again to Stuber down on the baseline. Dribbling, dribbling, fix it outside for a long launch. Good. It's a two-pointer. Stepping on the line was Stegman. She She's wanted that ball. And how about when Angie? Wow. What a half. Their highest output of the season offensively for the Panthers this season has been 36 points. Right now, they got 21 and a half. Wenatchee trails it 36-21 here to the West Valley Rams. We'll take a two-minute break and come back. You're watching Big Nine Basketball on the NCW Live Channel. Hello, television family. Grab your cup of coffee each weekday morning and join me. I'm Dan Koontz, the host of Wake Up Anachi Valley. It's Wake Up Anachi Valley. It's everything you need to start your day. We're live and we're local at 7 a.m. every weekday on the NCW Life Channel. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? With today's home values, this is the perfect time to sell and make those dreams real. When you work with a world-class agent at Coldwell Banker, you benefit from trusted guidance in our revolutionary seller's assurance program to make your home sale more rewarding than ever. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. Hi folks, welcome to Save Mart. How can we help you today? Uh, we're looking for a recliner. Okay, right this way. Go ahead and move this chair from the other side. You can this one. Great, I want that one. I like that one. That's a great choice. And I want this one as well. Okay. And I definitely want this one. Ooh. you find it at Savemark. Full service at a low, low price. Are you dealing with a pest or weed issue and you just don't know what to do? We use the best pest control methods approved for areas with kids and pets. Whether it's rats, mice, ants, or spiders, or something else altogether. We provide the coaching and solutions you're looking for. And you can know that your dollars are supporting a local, family-owned and operated business. Allow us to help you get back to living healthy and pest-free. Harvest Valley Pest Control. 
of basketball on the NCW Life Channel. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Coldwell Banker Cascade, encouraging you to leave your mark. Coldwell Banker Cascade, guiding you home in North Central Washington. Also by Confluence Health, high-quality care close to home. Confluence Health, dedicated to improving their patients' health with safe, high-quality care in 12 communities. Well, interesting second quarter here, Grant Olson. What actually actually tied West Valley. 19 points apiece and trail it here 36 21 at halftime that should be they played as well as west valley really in did. that second quarter i'll tell you what eric when coach dormeyer went to that half court trap that changed everything for wenatchee they started getting some turnovers they got a bucket or two some easy ones they ran their offense late in that corner that those turnovers they got off that half court trap really gave them confidence in that second quarter. well and for that full court press that west valley was trying to achieve after every made field goal wenatchee Finally, it was doing a little bit better, more passing than dribbling, and that's what you want. Absolutely, and you hit, hit it right on the head in that second quarter. They're playing great defense down around the basket. Most of West Valley's points have been from the outside. They just got to yeah. do a little bit better job of guarding their guards from the outside, especially Hill, who's doing the damage right now. Yeah, six three-pointers for West Valley in that first half right. of play. Uh, meanwhile, for the one Edge Panthers, the last time these two teams played, it was only week three of the season back in December on the 9th of December. Wenatchee scored 23 points for the entire game. They've scored 21 points in one half here. And that, I expect, is what Coach Dormeyer is pumping the team up about here at halftime. We played even with them in the second quarter. That's what she's pumping up right now, and you're exactly right. We talked about that in the pregame show. They've been scoring a little bit more over the last three weeks or so, and I think they're going to continue that trend tonight. They just need to continue that great defense they played in the second quarter. Well, we'll take a break and come back and get you some of the halftime stats here. It is West Valley leading Wenatchee 36-21. You're watching Big Nine Basketball here on the NCW Live Channel. And our broadcast brought to you apart by Dix Heating and Air Conditioning. Providing heating and air conditioning service and installation since 1982. Serving residential and commercial, they specialize in indoor air quality installation, service, and repair. And by Global Car Care, your vehicle is their number one priority. Diesels and European cars are their specialty. Pick up a drop off available too. Stop by their website at globalcarcare.net. Back with more next here on the NCW Life Channel. Connect with us on Networked as we introduce you to the people and organizations who are leading innovation in the region. Get inspired, engaged, and networked right here on the NCW Life Channel. News, weather, and sports. It's all here weekdays at 5, 6, and 10 on your local news source, the NCW Life Channel. We were in Roseburg in the early 80s. Our oldest son, Dan, was a defensive back, a starter on that team. They set, in fact, became Oregon State champions, setting the first undefeated 14-0 season in Oregon's history. And our kids still talk about that. I go back now, too, and I think about all those great days and great times. The neat thing is that we can go back in today and still enjoy the same quality food that we enjoyed 50 years ago. That's legendary. When your heating or cooling system is giving you trouble, call the Diagnostic Doctor from Dix Heating and Air Conditioning. Here's the culprit right here. All joking aside, when you call Dix, you're calling 35 years of experience at customer service right here in the Wenatchee Valley. Dix strongly believes in repairing before replacing and they service all major brands of HVAC units. You've got a lot to do today. While you're out and about, remember to dispose of your unused medications safely and anonymously. It's a simple act that makes your home a safer place. Next time you're at the pharmacy, just place them in the drop box. To find a location, visit medproject.org. The finely festooned Golden Apple Marching Band here entertaining our crowd at halftime. It's senior night for the band. They will have a little special introduction ceremony coming up between the two games as we are halftime between West Valley and Wenatchee with a score of 36 to 21 here at halftime. Unofficial totals in that first half. First for the West Valley Rams are led by Lakin Hill. She had 12 points all from three point all beyond the three point arc. 13 points for Juliana Bell. 
And she had eight in the first quarter. Five points for Paige Brimmerman, four for Malia McMurray, and two points for Maisie Morford. West Valley four is six from the free throw line. And we've got them for seven turnovers in that first half. They led by as many as 20. It is 15 here at the half. Meanwhile, for the Wenatchee Panthers, unofficially, Gabby Volden with nine points, five points for Zaley Stegman off the bench, four points for Marin Stuber, and three points for Carson Garcia Miller. Wenatchee five is six from the free throw line and unofficially 19 turnovers in that first half. How did we do against the glass here, Grant? Well, you know, this is the thing. Rebounding-wise, they were pretty even. Uh, West Valley 16 in the first half, Wenatchee 13. But what stood out, Eric, is that 10 of the 16 rebounds for West Valley offensive rebounds oh, yeah. in that first half. Uh, uh, Wenatchee only three of the 13 offensive. Now, at first you're going to think, well, what's Wenatchee? They're not blocking out inside. But West Valley takes so many launches from way outside, that's going to create a carom and a long rebound. So that's it's a not necessarily a, a problem with what's happening inside. It's they're shooting a lot from way out, way downtown. I would say that a quarter of those 10 offensive rebounds are because of that. Yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile, you talked about Gabby Bolin for the Wenatchee Panthers, the only player on this team that's got experience coming back. And... She's crucial. She leads the team here with nine points of that first uh, half of play, but she's a ball handler. She is the spark plug. She's the straw that stirs the drink. There's no doubt about it. She has two fouls right now at halftime. She has to be really, really careful in this second half, but you're right. She's the spark that makes everything go for this Wenatchee team defensively, offensively, and I think it's just her leadership with all these freshmen and sophomores on this team and that experience. Well, and I think also what you mentioned about that change in defense defense to go to that half court trap by the Wenatchee Panthers. You've got to be aggressive. Why not? I mean, who cares? You foul up. Who cares? Make an attempt. Make it make make it hard for them to beat you. Because I don't think this team, Eric, just to be honest, is capable of a full court press right now. They're just not experienced yeah. enough in basketball. But they have proved the half court trap, that's their bread and butter. And I would stick with that the second half, and I'm sure she will. Second half coming away in a 60-second break. 36-21 our score. West Valley on top. We'll come back with the second half right after this. Hi, my car's making a funny noise. Not a problem. We'll take care of you. Global Car Care's technicians are ASE master techs and well-versed in the more refined methods of vehicular diagnostics. Number three piston and rings have a slight loss of compression, down to 108 pounds. Your transmission is slipping. You're going to need a service. Looks like you're all set. These guys, they're good. Oh, and your spare is flat. Global Car Care, Wenatchee's top shop. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Well, Riley Jones will get the start. She'll be bringing the ball in for Wenatchee here as we start the second half. Panthers on a nice little run to end that first half of play, see if they can keep it going here, and immediately they turn the ball over after 19 turnovers in the first half. Not the way you want to start the second half, and here's a drive by West Valley back the other way. They'll kick it outside around the horn it comes. Bremerman with it. Down in the corner it goes to Bell. Lob pass inside. Denied by Wenatchee. Ball loose on the floor, and who's going to get it? We're going to get a hell ball, and it'll be out to West Valley. I think five players touch that ball right there at least. That's one thing you see way more in the girls' side than you do in the boys' side is bodies on the floor. Oh, it's a rougher like, sport. There's yeah, no doubt about uh, that. Absolutely. Inbounds pass comes in. Hill dribbles through the trees, then kicks it out to go around, and Hill collects a pass. That, reverse. reverse layup. Good. Wow. Lake and Hill with 14 to lead West Valley. They Don't you think, Eric, she's probably one of the better big nine girl players we've seen this absolutely. year? Absolutely. Absolutely. Volan nearly went over and back. Bounce pass down low, and it goes away from Stuber. Another turnover for Wenatchee. So two times down the floor, two turnovers for the Panthers. And see, that's a, a youngster mistake by Cardona. She just telegraphed that pass, yep. and that was easy to defend. Here's a three-point launch from the corner by West Valley's Morford. 
Rebound picked up defensively as Volan will bring it across the midcourt strike. Pass to the left to wing as it's collected there by Garcia Miller. Back to Volan. Volan works off a pick from Jones. Going to shoot the long two. Rims won't fall. Rebound tap. Picked up by Jones outside. New shot clock for Wadanchi. Volan, top of the key. Lob pass underneath, a little bit too tall, but uh, Stuber's able to get it. Back to a launch for Volan. It's no good, and she follows her shot. She's got the rebound. No, it's Hill. Back the other way. It goes coast to coast, lays it up, collects a foul from Jones. With the right hand that time, and yep. she's a lefty. So Riley Jones will collect the first foul of the second half. That'll be her third. She has the most fouls of anybody on either club. And you know, that could be big for the Panthers too, Eric. She has six rebounds right now to lead all players in this game. Free throws for Lakin Hill will be of her first of the ball game. She makes the first. And substitutions for Wenatchee. In comes Stegman, so too does Hansen. And they will replace Garcia Miller and somebody else has to come out. So it'll be Stuber. I like the big lineup. For the, yeah. the for the yeah. Panthers, I Why really not? do. Hill second free throw, no good. Rebound picked up by Hanson, who just checked in. So one of those free throws made by Hill. Looking at the three, no, but taking a couple of dribble steps and then launching from a little bit different angle with Stegman. Rebound chased down by Hill down in the corner. This is Lakin Hill down to Bell on the perimeter. Bell out top it comes. Ball knocked away. Picked up by Wodanchi. Bolin right there on the spot for the Panthers. Left side it'll come. And another long launch. It's an air ball. I like it, though. She had the shot there from about 15. Take it. Yeah. One thing she did, though, after her shot is she just gave up on it and started running to the other end to play defense. Meanwhile, the ball is battled for it. It's out to Wenatchee. We've seen that a couple of times now. <coughs> that turnover Ooh. by West Valley. They're eighth. And speaking of turnovers, here's one right back by Wenatchee. 18-point bulge here for the Rams. They've done all the scoring here in the second half. 540 to go in the third. Hill. Off the dribble, down in the corner. Here's a three-point rim, won't fall. Offensive rebound by the lady who took the shot. That's Bremerman. There's, and there's the following bucket. your shot, Eric, yep. right there. Yep. Kids at home, if you're right. watching this, always follow your shot. Don't jump over the top of somebody to try to get a ball, <laughs> but follow your shot. Reach could have been called there. Jones will whip it around to Bolin for a three. That's off the mark. And the ball just helplessly fall out of bounds. And substitution, Volan, breathing heavily, will head to the sideline. And she'll be replaced here for Wenanchi by Garcia Miller. Miller barely got the uh, bench warm before she had to pop back up and come back out. <laughs> Volan's tired. Bell down in the corner. Here's a three, no, a two, and it rins and rins and falls. And a rare bucket for Avery Freeze. In fact, that's her first bucket of the ball game. Largest lead now at 22 points here for West Valley. They're led by as many as 20 in the first half. Jones, lob pass across to Stegman. Stegman dribbles it towards the left wing, works off a pick, over for a three, rims won't fall off the back of the glass on the shot over there by Garcia Miller. Rebound picked up by West Valley. Hill's gonna slow the pace a little bit as the defense comes out on her crossover step. What a handle she's got. Here's her three from the right corner. It's no good. Weak side rebound on the other side. Picked up for Wenatchee by Garcia Miller. Well, there's those long launches again here for West yep. Valley. Oh. A lob pass inside. Too strong for Hanson inside. So it goes over. On a turnover, drive nice in the shot. paint, beautiful drive, and rewarded with the bucket is Bremerman. Really good body control on the baseline. Yeah, she's got four and a quarter, nine in the ball game now, and Wenatchee dribbling right into that press. Ball knocked away, picked up by Hill. She'll lay it up and good. And a turnover by Wenatchee, their fifth already here in the third quarter, and we're going to get a timeout taken here by the Panthers, and we will... Stay here? No, full timeout. So we'll take a 30-second break on our broadcast. 47-21 to score. All West Valley here tonight, and especially in this third quarter. We'll come back after this 30-second timeout. 
You don't have to be a member to enjoy the view and dine in style at Highlander Bar and Grill, located in East Wenatchee. Highlander Golf Course has added two state-of-the-art full swing simulators. Food and drink service is available from our full service bar and grill, offering breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Indoor and outdoor seating available. Call Shalane, our on-site coordinator, to schedule your special event. 3.42 to go here in the third. West Valley in a 9-2 run here to start this second half. And uh, getting points off of Wenatchee turnovers. Five I've got an 11-0 run, Eric. 47-21. Oh, right. yes, you're right. Boy, I, I, just what Coach Dormeyer did not want happen right, exactly. to happen, Exactly. I think first I, four minutes, 11-0 run. And a ball tapped by West Valley. It'll go out of bounds to Wenatchee here. As they have the ball after the uh, timeout. I gave points to Jones. He should have went to Bremerman the other way. The other 21. Gotcha. Inbounds pass comes in, stolen away by Hill, who is just everywhere for West Valley. Beautiful pass inside. Bell shot good. That was a nice oh, look that time. When actually looks like they're getting a little bit tired. Yep. Inbounds pass comes in to Stegman. She'll hand it back to Garcia Miller. Back to Stegman. Dribbles, passes, a little strong, and it's fumbled away again, picked up by West Valley. Another pass, oh, beautiful, beautiful underneath and Hill. Wide open underneath for the lay in. What a beautiful look by Hill. Is Freeze, that's her second bucket here of the ball game. Again, another high pass, and again, it's not able to be handled by Wadachi. Uh, just one turnover after another. Mistake, mistake, mistake. Now shot by Hill, missed. Rebound picked up underneath by Stuber. Her outlet pass to Stegman. They'll get it down low a little bit too high again. And how you get it too high to the tallest player on the court, I'm not sure. <laughs> Possession arrow goes to Wenatchee on a held ball. Panthers just trying to get their first bucket here of the second half, for goodness sakes. Right. And with the height advantage you have inside, just go right to Hanson. Right. She's just so much taller than everyone out there. Inbounds pass is still clock is on them and a five second violation. Yet another turnover by Wenatchee. My goodness. They got him 28 unofficially, Eric. Yeah. Actually, I've got him for 29. Now. Do you? No, no, 28. You're right. You're right. I got him for nine here in the second half. They had 19 in the first half. 51 21, largest lead at 30 points now for West Valley as the Rams have come out from the locker room and have taken it to the Panthers here. Hill for a three-pointer, no good. Defend offensive rebound again on a Bell three-pointer, no good. Rebound this time picked up by Wenatchee, and there was a, a Stegman was streaking ahead of everybody, didn't see her. Now they tried to pass, the ball knocked away, and then a three-point launch is good by Garcia Miller. She's got six in the ball game now. First bucket for Wenatchee comes with under two minutes to go in the third quarter. It's kind of the way the first quarter went, Eric, it really. It was. Wenatchee scored with 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Reach could have been a foul call. Hail with it. Now to Bell. Down on the baseline. We're going to get a foul. I thought maybe a walk could have been called, but no, they're going to call a foul. Cardona just a little bit of a push on the baseline. That's her second foul. Second team foul. And here comes Gabby Bowen. You talked about the need for her on the court. Absolutely. They need her right now. 133 to go here in the third. Inbounds pass. Good defense so far by Wadachi. And just no look. And it finally comes into Bell. And then she lost the handle. But it was fronting this player with Stuber. She just kept her hand up and kind of right. intercepted that uh -huh. pass almost. It's Ram ball. Now, why did they get a fresh uh, shot clock here, Grant? They didn't touch the rim. No, they? they didn't. And a swoop shot here and a foul call. The Hill will head to the free throw line. Foul is on Bremerman. Excuse me. No, Garcia Miller. That's her first third team foul. And Lakin Hill will be back to the line for the second time here in the second half. First free throw is good. She's got four in the quarter, 16 in the ball game. She walks up there like it's just, it's a part of her shooting free throws. I bet this girl has shot thousands of free throws. Yeah. Second free throw, good. Yeah, like, give me that ball. Oh, I know. I'm going to put it in right I'll now. I'll show you. Uh -huh. I'll show you what I can do. 
Inbounds pass to Stegman. Stegman, oh, maybe a little talking to at halftime. She didn't dribble into the trap at half court. But then the pass goes off the shoulder of Volan as she tried to think about what she wanted to do first before she collected the pass, and it goes off her shoulder out of bounds. It's kind of like a wide receiver in football that takes their eye off the ball just for a second. They see that guy coming, and then they drop the ball. Good luck, by the way, to the Buffalo Bills this weekend, my oh, friend. Oh, boy, yes. <laughs> Cincinnati and Buffalo <laughs> Sunday at noon, and that's got to be a walk. <clears throat> no, they're going to oh, call a foul. Wow. My goodness, I thought there was a walk long before any contact. I'm with Gabby Volan there. <laughs> She's... <laughs> talking to herself and now they're going to call the foul on her oh no she, i don't even think she was in the neighborhood was she that's three three fouls on bowling with a minute nine to go here in the third quarter who will shoot the free throws here first one good my goodness Paige berman with the free throw they were four or six from the line in the first half they're four or five here in the second half <laughs> wow there's not much that West Valley's not doing well here tonight. Second free throw, no good. Rebound by Hanson. And she'll give it up to Stegman. And they've called the dogs <coughs> off a little bit, has West Valley. Lob pass in. Volan drives through the paint, lost it. Hanson collects it, shoots it, misses it. Rebound taps and then picked up by West Valley. Hill again will just run it through everybody. And then slow it up around the offense. Goes right side, down low it comes. And turn and shot, no good. Good job defense. getting the defensive rebound. <coughs> Garcia Miller, great defense that time. Yeah, she uh, fronted the shot and then collected the rebound. Turn around and got a hip into the, the shooter. Here's a shot, goes off the back of the window and giggles galore for Zaley Stegman. I think she wanted to pass that and back <laughs> out. It actually hit the Maybe, <laughs> maybe. We'll, we'll say it was partially blocked. Right. How about that? On her pass attempt. 54-24. <laughs> West Valley matching their largest lead, trying to get a final shot here of the, of the third quarter. 20 on the game clock. Shot clock is off, and now a hand check foul going to be called against Molin again. That's number four. Wow. That's not only big, that is humongous that is foul humongous. for Wenatchee. Yeah, absolutely. As Gabby Volan had nine points in the first half, she has not scored here in the second half. Inbounds pass with 17. Bell has it. She'll shoot that three-pointer. You watch her. So will Hill. Hill will drive. She'll try to pass it through the lane. The ball is knocked around. Loose. Hill saves it inbounds off of a Panther. And they'll have a chance here with five seconds left. Substitution as Stegman will come back in for Wenatchee. Sure, he plays Boland. Good substitution yeah, there. Yes. With four fouls on Gabby. Inbounds pass comes in. Bremerman to Bell to Hill for three. Oh, Good. Boom. Just like you write it up on the dry erase board as a coach. We will take a break and come back. 57 to 24, the score. West Valley on top. You're watching Big Nine Basketball on the NCW Life Channel. Hey, everyone. Fletcher and Amy Ellingson here from Live It Up. Join us every week as we answer your questions on health, wealth, and relationships. We're all about you creating a life that you love, so tune in to Live It Up. The NCW Life Channel offers marketing packages that help you build your brand and sell your products and services. From traditional TV ads to targeted digital campaigns, let us help you build your customer base. Call NCW Life Channel today. When you call Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, you're calling on 35-plus years of experience in the Wenatchee Valley. Spending extra time in your home, you may have discovered an unwanted aroma. Stinky feet, pets, who knows what. Call Dick's today about installing their Train Clean Effects Electronic Air Cleaner or a Rheem Halo Ultraviolet Air Purifier. Either way, the air quality in your home will be improved. Proudly servicing all of North Central Washington, call 884-6444 today. West Valley outscored Wenatchee 21 to three in the third quarter. As we head to the fourth, it's a 57-24 lead at Wenatchee basketball to start this uh, fourth frame. Wenatchee just wasn't able to carry that momentum from that second quarter out of the halftime locker room and onto the court for the third. They, they were, just couldn't do it. They were also in the locker room for a long time. I mean, they barely got out here in time to start right. the second half. Didn't get any warm up at all. 
So there was a lot that uh, Coach Dormeyer wanted to pass along to her ladies in that halftime locker room. Lob pass inside, tapped by West Valley. Splitting the defense is Stuber. Missed the close-in shot. Rebound off of Wenatchee. Out of bounds. Good look again underneath. If you're curious, if it gets to a 40-point differential, we will have a running clock for the rest of the ball game. Hill splits wow. three players. Lob pass across, down low. As they got it over to Morford, she'll dribble it back around. Go inside, wide open shot, missed offensive rebound. Foul called on the rebound. We'll get free throws for West Valley. Wide open for Hatfield. Somehow she missed the shot. It's too hard. And the foul is on Cordona. That's her third. 16 fouls on the Panthers. Oh, they're not going to say that was a oh, shooting boy, foul. I thought it was, too. Okay. Absolutely. Inbounds pass baseline left side as it comes into Hill. Hill backs wow. it away from the defense. She's they, been open a couple of times. She just has. isn't taking the I shot. Th I think they've kind of called off yep. the dogs a little bit here. No, Holy no. Cow. As soon as we say oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> She's got 23 <laughs> points here tonight. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. Yeah, what was that about calling the dogs uh, off? Oh, great. Yeah, I don't think the so. The announcer jinx right uh -huh, there. Uh -huh. Yeah, just a little bit. 36-point uh, lead, by the way, here for the Rams. Stegman with the dribble. She'll shoot the three. Rims won't fall. Rebound tapped around, picked up by West Valley. Guess who? Hill again. Hill brings it across the midcourt stripe, and this girl oh, never man. looks down to where the ball is. She knows where that ball is at all times. Here's a... Out, no good on the shot taken by Freeze. Rebound defensive for Wenatchee. Garcia Miller works it between the circles here. I say circles. They don't have a circle out of right. here. Here's a oh, three-point possibility. Three-point opportunity for Stuber. The foul is whistled on McMurray. That's her third foul. That's the first team foul against West Valley here in the second half. That's hard to, to show you what kind of half this has been for the Rams. Exactly. So give Stuber the bucket. She's got six in the ball game, trying to make it seven here. Nope. But chasing down the Good rebound hustle. is Garcia Miller for Wenatchee, but she was stepping on the end line. No, they're going to say a travel. So she got credit for the hustle on the rebound, but then turned the ball over. 60 to 26. Reminder, we've got uh, the boys coming up at 7.30 here on the NCW Live channel. Lob pass across. Beautiful wide open shot. And count the bucket and one for Hatfield. That's Hatfield's first bucket of the ball game. And the foul is on Ooh. Cordona. That's quickly now four on Cordona. And a timeout going to be asked for here by... Coach Domar, but it'll have to come after the free throw, and it'll have to come after the next dead ball, because the free throw was missed, and the rebound picked up by Jones. Boy, she's had good minutes here tonight. For Seven Wenatchee. rebounds for her tonight. Garcia oh, Miller, good look. Beautiful pass to Stuber, but it was off of her, two down low, and then the ball kicked. They're going to say it's kicked by West Valley? I guess so. Okie dokie. And they'll give Wenatchee a new <laughs> shot clock here. Garcia Miller with the inbounds pass. Comes into Stegman. Ball fake. Head fake. Lob pass in. Stuber. Shot. Uh. Rims. Won't fall. Got her own rebound. Battle for it. We're going to get a foul called on West Valley. Interesting. Huh. Foul is on Hatfield. That's her second. Second team foul. So a long way for getting in the bonus for Wodanchi. Inbounds pass. Finally comes in, Stuber, bounce pass, dangerous to Jones. She could have been called for two travels there. Outside to Stegman, <laughs> lob pass across over to Cordona. Cordona drives, cut off there on the baseline, and we're going to get a reaching foul on West Valley. Foul is on Freeze, that's her third. A couple of Rams now with three fouls, substitution. Juliana Bell comes back in and will replace Avery Freeze here for West Valley. Nice rest for Bell. Absolutely. 
Inbounds pass by Garcia Miller, looking for Jones, had her, Great. and finally got her, but they're gonna get a five second violation first on the possession on the inbounds. And now broken glasses here for Wenatchee's Jones, and she says, that's okay, I don't need those glasses. <laughs> So the <laughs> Dormeyer, Coach Dormeyer, just asked when she put the glasses down on the table here, should I make a joke about the officials needing some glasses? <laughs> that was just too good for her to pass oh, up. Oh, absolutely. Here's a shot from outside taken by Bell. A rebound picked up by Wadanchi, but then getting uh, tripped oh. up and bodies all over, and we're going to get a foul called. And who's the foul going to be on? I think it's Stegman. There's two number ones out on the floor right now. One per side, and the foul will be on Wenatchee Stegman. That's her first personal foul. And that'll go down as a turnover, too, by the way, because she lost the handle and then had to oh, reach true. to try to get it back. 36-point differential here. 32 turnovers is what I have unofficially. Uh, Cordona comes uh, off the floor as Volan checks back in with four fouls. We'll head to the other end and shoot as Lakin Hill will wow, shoot the first missed. of one and one, and she missed, yeah. It's too close for us. <laughs> right. <laughs> we talk, I forgot to look that up, Grant. We were talking about that last week about if you're at the free throw line, can you back up? Oh, yeah, right. Lob pass inside. Oh, and a wraparound pass to no one but the defense. St uh, Stuber was right there close again. Turnover for Wenatchee. Here's Top a shot. shot. Miss. Rebound Jones. Having a hard time recognizing Jones without her glasses, not my glasses. <laughs> Was Stegman going to shoot the three as the ball blocked by Hill? She's all over the place tonight. Well, and is. it is Bell coming up with a loose ball, but then she has a puck from behind by Stegman. But then she tapped it. It goes out of bounds off of the Panthers here. Going to get some substitutions here for Wenatchee. Some players that don't normally get a lot of time playing. Fernanda Mendez will come in. And who else came in? That is Katie Johnson. I think Stegman and Stuber both played really well, the two players that Absolutely. just went out. Absolutely. Here's a bank shot. Oh, Good boy. from two. Way Holy down cow. for Morford. Just about everybody who's played for West Valley is in the scorebook here tonight. Bounce pass in, down low, shot off the window. Rims won't fall. Hard luck for Mendez. Oh. Rebound defensive <laughs> for West Valley. Is Faith, or is uh, Lakin Hill got a double-double at least? She's got tonight? nine rebounds oh now. Oh, my gosh. Here's Bell out top. Bell starts a drive down through the trees. Nice Rejected block. Rejected by Jones, I believe. You yes. know, she gets off the floor, Eric. I noticed that on the jump ball at the beginning of the game. She won that tip. This girl can jump. We got a foul on West Valley in the backcourt here on Bremerman. That's her second. That is only the fourth team foul against the Rams. Substitution here for West Valley as they will get uh, Thompson White into the game. They don't have a lot of players to bring in, so no. it's not like they're running up the score. They just don't have the players. Yep. Split the defense by Volan. Kick it out for a three-pointer. Yeah. No good by Garcia Miller. Paul taps. Goes out of bounds off of West Valley. Out to Wenatchee. Volan will bring it in right in front of our camera down there on the floor. Inbounds pass to Garcia Miller. Inside it goes to Mendez. Passes it out. Here's the drive by Volan. Left-handed runner on the way, but she missed the shot, but she'll get the foul. Aggressive. Might as well be aggressive. Go to the basket. And that's how she's been right. offensively, defensively, every time we've seen her play. Foul is on Cadence Thompson. That's her first. And Gabby Volan, who has been held scoreless since the second quarter, will get her first bucket of the second half and be the only Panther in double figures here tonight. One more to come for Gabby. We'll get a substitution if she makes a free throw. Nope. Rebound chased down by Mendez. Shortest player on the floor. You've got to love that. Here's Volan. Shot. Rims won't fall. Rebound. Tap back to Jones. And nice she's fouled. rebound by Jones again. She's got nine rebounds in the game. How about that? Foul is on Thompson. Two in a row on Thompson. Manchi will be on the bonus the rest of the way with 319 to go. And coming in, Jones will come out. And how about the hand for Jones here? She deserves it. As Vanessa Hansen comes back in. 
Lob pass in to Garcia Miller. She'll drive, shoot, left-handed left -handed runner. No good, but nice look at it anyway. Rebound defensive here for the Rams by Morford. Off to Hill. Substitution for the Rams coming up. Hill works it around the horn, backs it away from the defense, goes top of the key for a bell three-pointer, and rims won't fall. Rebound, Hanson had it, but then lost Hill? it, and then a putback by, guess who, Hill. Against a six-foot player, just got better position, snuck in there and got that rebound. 25 points for Lakin Hill, the 5'6 junior guard for West Valley here tonight. Crossover step by Volan. She'll dribble it down, put up the left hand Ooh. from the left side. Good! Gabby Volan with three in the quarter, 12 of the ball game. 2.28 to go to see if Wenatchee can get their highest scoring output of the season. Shot, miss. Garcia Miller lobs it ahead for Volan. Is it too far? She will collect it on the baseline. Dribble away from the defense. Come out, stop, pop the three-pointer. Oh, air ball, no good. And we're going to get a timeout taken by West Valley with 2.10 to go. We will take a 30-second break on the broadcast as well. 66-29 is our score. We'll come back right after this. I'm Brian Thorpe, and I'm proud to say that Global Car Care is growing. We always do the right thing, and because of that, we're busy, and it's time to hire an experienced automotive technician. We spend as much time with our coworkers as we do our own family. I want them to understand they're not a number here. They're a person with a family, and I want them to be part of this family too. Do you want an owner that understands and respects what you do every day? I'm that guy. Our compensation is the best in the area. I want you to have your career with us. <clears throat> Our broadcast tonight on the NCW Life Channel brought to you by Harvest Valley Pest Control, living healthy, local, and pest free. You can rest assured that Harvest Valley Pest Control uses kid and pet safe material around your home or office. Call Harvest Valley Pest Control today for your free estimate at 509 423 2207. Also by Highlander Golf Course and Grill. Plan your next tournament to an event today. Call the Pro Shop to schedule your time with our full swing S4 widescreen golf simulators. 509-884-4653. Also by Les Schwab. And Les Schwab, they take your safety seriously every time you stop by. Timeout taken by the Rams. So West Valley basketball in front of the Wenatchee bench. Trying to see who checked in for the Rams. Uh, it looks like it was Piper Tweedy. There we go. Piper's in there. We'll have to ask her if she sings. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a Taylor Swift, Piper Tweedy kind yeah, of a name. You yes, know? yeah. <laughs> Long pass down low. Outside it comes. Here's the three-pointer by Bell. Back of the iron, no good. Mendez tapped it and goes out of bounds to West. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, apparently, no, it's off to Wenatchee. <laughs> Our officials, by the way, Mike Wool, Paul Weddle, and David Auville here tonight. Volan runs the offense with four fouls. Around the horn, she'll Ooh. draw the foul. Again, aggressive, as you mentioned, Grant. Yep. She'll get to the free throw line. And meanwhile, the foul is whistled on Piper Tweedy. Both teams over the bonus here. And Gabby Volan with the first of two free throws. Good. <laughs> Substitution. Stegman comes in for Wenatchee. Also trying to check in for the shooter is Victoria Mena. So if Gabby can make this free throw, Victoria will check in for her free throw. Good. Well, and as you mentioned it, Grant, uh, the, uh, you know, the key cog for Wenatchee, no matter what, is number 13 that just oh, came out absolutely. of the game. absolutely. Fantastic game. Again, effort, effort, effort for her, her tonight. Bruised up knees oh, and shins, and this girl does it all. Finished with 14 points tonight to lead the Panthers. Minute 35 to go. 66-31. Drive inside by Tw Piper Tweedy, and she is fouled by Mena, who just checked in. And the foul, as they tell us, is the 19th foul against Wenatchee. And a substitution for the Panthers here. As this... Well, they got two number 13s. Gabby Volan is one number 13. I, I guess this is Madison Norton. Holy cow, yeah. 
And the free throw by Tweedy is good. How about so that? She, she's brought up from the JV team and gets a free throw out of it and tonight. And she is on the scorebook for a varsity player. <laughs> and second free throw. Oh, no good. Rebound. Menda, or Menda had it. Who are they going to say it's off of? They're going to say it's off of Menda, and so it'll be West Valley ball. A minute 29 to go. <clears throat> Inbounds pass. Baseline right side comes outside to Hill. She's played just about every minute of this game. Shoots a three-pointer. No good. Offensive rebound. Put back all the way. No good. Rebound. Fought for Minda underneath. <laughs> Again, shortest one on the floor. <laughs> Has the rebound. Outlet pass. Or is that Bowen that did check back in here for an action? Oh, that's Gabby. That is Bowen. Okay. That's Gabby that checked back in. I was surprised. I thought she was done for the night, but then she turns the ball over here. And back the other way goes Bell. Coast to coast. Lay it up. Good. 17 points for Juliana Bell. Under a minute to go. Volan. Crossover step. Long Why not? watch. No. Goes out of bounds. You know who checked in was Bella Collier for Wenatchee. Number 11. Oh, yeah. I saw the one and okay. just assumed the three and got a little confused there. Another freshman. Yep. Imagine that. Bella Collier <laughs> in there for Wenatchee now. Number 11. So West Valley basketball, they're working around the perimeter. Bell, high post to Tweedy. And Whoa, oh my, that could have been that offensive. Have been, should have been an offensive foul. Wow. Shot from the corner on the baseline, no good. Offensive rebound fought for and shot, no good. And another rebound, held ball call. Possession is to, no, we're going to get a foul. Yes, we are going to get a foul. It is on Wenatchee, and it's on Gabby Bolin. And guess what? She's now disqualified. But an effort night all the way through for Gabby Volan. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Gabby Volan just had uh, Stegman give her an excited high five as she was coming towards the bench and whacked her in the face. <laughs> so she's grabbing her upper tooth like she's not beat up enough. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the free throw on the way and good for Paige Bremerman. She's got 13 now in the ball game. Second free throw is good so Bremerman with 14 tonight shot clock is off when Anchi can work for a last shot or just work for an open shot left side it comes now outside to Stegman Stegman looking for help finds it over in the corner for Mena inside it goes oh and a turn shot oh my and the rebound picked up by West Valley ball loose and that was Mendez that took the shot. And that'll be the end of the ball game with West Valley winning it. Going away here tonight by a score of 71 to 31. We'll take a 60 second break, come back, wrap it up here from Wenatchee High School after this timeout. Hi, folks. Welcome to Save Mart. How can we help you today? Uh, we're looking for a recliner. Okay, right this way. Go ahead and move this chair on the other side. Great, I want that one. I like that one. That's a great choice. And I want this one as well. Okay. And I definitely want this one. Ooh. You'll find it at Save Mart. Full service at a low, low price. We were in Roseburg in the early 80s. Our oldest son, Dan, was a defensive back, a starter on that team. They set, in fact, became Oregon State champions, setting the first undefeated 14-0 season in Oregon's history. And a lot of people were losing jobs. Friends had left the community. It was a hard time. That football team and companies like Abby's kept that place alive and the community spirit alive. That's legendary. One more time around for the girls here on the NCW Life Channel as it's West Valley winning it 71 to 31 here tonight over the Wenatchee Panthers. Unofficial totals in the ball game. First for the West Valley Rams. They were led by the 25 points of Lake and Hill. As she had 
Six three-pointers in the ballgame here tonight. 17 points for Juliana Bell, 14 for Paige Bremerman. So three players in double figures here for the Rams. Four points for a uh, Avery Freeze, four for Maisie Morford, and four for Malia McMurray. One point off the bench for Piper Tweedy here in the ballgame. Uh, West Valley wins it going away. They improve to four and three in the Big Nine, seven and seven on the season. Meanwhile, Wenatchee falls to 0 and seven in Big Nine play, 0 and 15 overall. And uh, well, they'll have to take heart in their second quarter where they scored 19 points in the quarter, but uh, just not nearly enough here tonight. They scored three in the third quarter and they score seven in the fourth quarter here in this ball game. Unofficially led by the 14 points of Gabby Volan tonight. Six points for Carson Garcia Miller and six for Marin Stuber. Five points off the bench for Zaley Stegman. How did we end up uh, rebounding? Rebounding was pretty even, Eric. Uh, West, uh, West Valley out rebounded Wenatchee 32 to 30. 16 of those 32 for West Valley. Offensive led by Lakin Hill with 10. Wenatchee leading rebounder Riley Jones with nine tonight. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Sangster Motors, family-owned and operated home of the all-new electric Hummer pickup and SUV. Also by Kennedy Real Estate Group. They're more than selling houses. They're building communities, buying or selling. Call Kennedy Real Estate Group. Find them online at kenadygroup.com. That's going to wrap it up for the girls' broadcast here on the NCW Life Channel. Again, the final West Valley 71, Wenatchee 31. Thanks for joining us, and have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching tonight's live coverage of local high school sports on the NCW Live Channel, your local TV station. Tonight's broadcast has been brought to you by Abby's Pizza, Biosports Physical Therapy, Clean Connection, Coldwell Banker Cascade, Confluence Health, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Harvest Valley Pest Control, Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Kennedy Real Estate Group, Les Schwab, Sangster Motors, Save Mart, Together For You, and TC Slingers. This has been a special presentation of NCW Life Channel Sports. We now return you to normal programming already in progress. And the shot, nice. and the shot to the basket.